Amanda from I Sew A Lot and new video today all about my March makes. Um, I'm a little bit late but um, the weather's been really rubbish so I found it really hard to find um, some light to be able to film. So um, I've been really busy this month and I made practically everything I wanted to make apart from I didn't make the Nina Lee Q dress, Q dress from my Lisa Comfort fabric. That is cut out and ready to go but I haven't made it yet. Okay so um, first thing I'm going to start with a, a couple of things that I've made which weren't for me. So first of all I made these really really cute um, dungarees and as you can see they've got snaps on the side and these are the two stitches Freddy dungarees and this pattern comes with two options which has a trouser option or a skirt option I went for the trouser option as you can see they've got some really cute little turn-ups with tabs and I put snaps on there again at the back um, it's got an elasticated uh, waist um, obviously got the normal dungaree buckles um, and it also has, if I could just open it where I put these snaps on, it's got sort of a facing um, where those buttons lie and then it's got some lovely pockets on the front which are a really nice shape and pocket on the uh, bib and it also has some really nice back pockets. All of the pockets are lined, um, as you can see, which takes a while. Um, the straps are also lined, and the front and back bibs are also lined as well. Um, there's just a, a sort of cuff lining, but the actual legs and the body are not lined. So, the reason I made these dungarees, because um, obviously they won't fit me, um, was because I am taking a class at Satisfaction for these dungarees, either the um, trouser version or the skirt version. Um, I think it's definitely an intermediate sew. It took me quite a while to make these. So um, yes, but if you check out on the website, there's on the Satisfaction website, and I'll put the um, link here, um, they, there is details of the dates and times and everything on there, so you can check that out. But yes, it's a two stitch pattern. Um, and yes, I'll be teaching that. So I made this as a sample to uh, send to Shona. So, next um, selfless thing I made was, and I said I was going to make this, and I did, the uh, Thread Theory Fin Lacing Sweater. And as you can see, it's got a crossover on the front. Um, it's also got a kangaroo pocket on the front. I made this from some sweatshirting. It hasn't got hardly any stretch. Um, but the sweatshirting is fleece-backed, I don't know if you can see that, fleece-backed and it's this lovely maroon colour and it was from t and Fabrics, um, I'll put the link to their site down below and I do think they still have this left. Originally I bought a metre of this fabric um, but when I came to sew it together I didn't quite have enough so I had to order another metre but it was on sale so it actually only cost me about £10. Um, yeah, so the problems that I had were, obviously as I was using a stretch, a uh, sweatshirt which didn't have a lot of stretch, my cuffs are a little bit loose and my hem band is a little bit loose. So I think if I made it again, I would definitely use a proper sort of ribbing because you need that um, recovery to sort of cinch it in. The other thing is, um, when my husband tried it on, he felt like the opening was too big. So he actually asked me, as you can see, I've stitched up here to the opening uh, to make it slightly more sort of closed around his neck. So he felt like it was a, a little bit too low because um, obviously you've got the lower neckline in the front there. The other thing I didn't do, and I can't remember if the pattern instructions told me to or not, but I saw on a lot of versions that people had top stitched around the opening to make the obviously the seams lie flat but as I got this looking so nice and neat I didn't want to ruin it and make it because all the versions that I'd seen that were top stitch it all sort of looked a bit lumpy and bumpy so I didn't do that and I think it's fine I don't think there's any problem there but um, it fits him I'll put a picture of him wearing it here excuse his very tired face um, but it had just worked something like uh, 
12 days in a row or something so um yes he was a bit weary and didn't really want to pose for a picture unfortunately um but yes it was a success but like i say another time i would use a stretchier um fabric for the cuffs so next thing obviously that which i'm wearing which is another nina lee south bank dress i know you've seen this from me before probably in every video since about november but um i really love this pattern and i had this really lovely fabric as you can see it's got it's mustard and it's got stars all over it from uh so me sunshine same as all the others the fit on this for me is really good i think i made size eight um, and yes, such a comfortable dress and a go-to uh, pattern for me um, when the weather's a bit chillier. But yes, this fabric, I'm really, really pleased with it. Unfortunately, I know she did have a really, really tiny bit back in stock, but I think it's sold out again now. Um, I have got a little bit left, so I'm hoping that I'm going to have enough to make a hoodie or a sweater uh, for one of my boys. So... I'm going to get changed and I'll jump on to the next thing. Okay, so um, I've got two more fabrics that I bought from Sew Me Sunshine. And the second one is um, this lovely navy uh, quilted jersey. And as you can see, it's got pink um, crosses on it. Um, it's actually kind of reversible. But if I can just show you the inside, uh, because it's stripy on the inside. I chose to use all the same colour and obviously I have made a So House 7 toaster sweater and I've obviously made this before but this version uh, which I haven't done with any of the others I actually lengthened it I think by an inch and a half um, because I just wanted to give it a go and see if I like the length any better and um, I do like the length and it goes really well with trousers but um, either way, I like the length either way, so it didn't really add much for me. But yes, this is super cosy, I'm really happy with it, and I've worn it loads. Um, although I'm hoping I'm not going to need to wear it for much more, much longer, and I can put it away with all my autumn winter stuff. Because the weather finally seems to be picking up. So, um, also, if I can just take it off, because it's sticking to me, because... The other fabric that I have from Sew Me Sunshine is this lovely navy stretch corduroy and the only thing I know to make with stretch corduroy is a Tilling the Buttons Clio. Um, with this version as well I also lengthened this uh, because the other versions I have I really really like but it is quite short the mini version so I think I added um, two inches to this and it feels a little bit more decent. Um, I also took the hips in slightly um, because on my other ones, this area is really gapy, and as you can see, it is still wide on me. Um, but yes, I really like it, it's super comfy. Um, and I'm wearing it with another one of my makes. And actually, if I can take the straps down so you can see a bit better. It's actually a Ostara top from Jennifer Lauren Handmade and this is a really new release, um, her latest pattern and I am in love with this t-shirt pattern. I think this is my go-to t-shirt pattern. Um, I actually made three this month so um, I'm going to put one of them on to show you with something else. Um, but I also made just a normal plain pink one and this is from a four-way stretch from Tia Knight Fabrics again um, but this beautiful one um, I actually found when I made my first one which was the pink one that the sleeves were slightly short and the body was slightly short so when I made the next version I added two inches to the sleeves and two inches to the body and it's perfect if I see if I can show you the length now I've added two inches, obviously it's a bit tight and you wouldn't wear it over the top of a dungaree dress but I really really love the neckline um, and it sits really nicely and I've made it obviously in two different types of fabric because this beautiful fabric is a modal knit and it's from Stitchy B, the lovely Cheryl and um, I also have it in a yellow colourway which I'm, I have cut out into another Ostara but the thing I really, really like about this, if um, because I have loads and loads of questions all the time about neckbands and getting them the right fit and 
measuring them and everything like that. Well, like I say, I've made this from two different kinds of fabrics and the neckband has fitted perfectly. I haven't had to make any adjustments. And I think what makes it lay so nicely is that there is notches around the neckline and on the neckband um, to ensure that you line it up in the right place so that you have the correct amount of easing in between the notches. Um, there's obviously a notch in the back, in the center back of the uh, back piece and a notch in the center front and then there's notches here I believe as well. So you can't really go wrong and um, yes it's got a really nice quite wide neck band and I did a bit of top stitching around but you can see how flat it lies but I really like the scooped out uh, neck, I really love it. So yes I've made three um, and I've got another two cut out ready to go because my wardrobe is seriously lacking in t-shirts. Okay, so I'm going to put on how many other more things? I have got uh, three more things to show you. So I'm going to get changed and show you those now. Okay, so this is uh, another one of my um, Ostara tops. And this is one from the four-way stretch. Um, it's a navy four-way stretch um, from Tia Knight Fabrics. Did some really nice twin needling around the cuff. And again, the neckline is really nice. Um, also, I have made this denim skirt, which I love. And this is, um, it's got a really nice waistband. I made it from, this is New Look 6035. I've made it loads of times before. I think I've already got three. Um, and I've actually done a video tutorial um, I'll make it, excuse me, I'm making this skirt and inserting an invisible zip and I'll put it up here. Um, so if you want to have a look at that, you can. But yes, I made it from a stretch jersey that I had in my stash. I think it's called Bark Weave. It's got a really, really nice texture. And it's the same um, denim that I made the dungarees, the two stitches dungarees from. I bought it to make a jumpsuit. Um, and I had some left, so... I've actually managed to make the skirt and I made the dungarees as well. So, yeah, I got this um, denim from Trixie Lixie, I think, and it was really, really reasonable. It's really nice quality. It's got quite a lot of structure, but it is a stretch denim and it's perfect for jeans, dungarees, skirts, anything. It's, it's a really, really lovely fabric. So, I have one more thing to show you and the last time to get changed, thank goodness, because I'm getting out of breath. And uh, yes, I will get changed and show you that now. Okay, so this is the last thing. And yes, <laughs> it is very bright, but I kind of like it. Um, my husband thinks it's super bright. Um, but I did make the short sleeve version of the grain line linden sweater. I know I probably am really, really late to the linden party, um, but it's a style that um, I have a raglan, a go-to raglan pattern, um, especially now I've got the toaster, but I also have a go-to raglan pattern, pattern, which I think is a new, it's either simplicity or new look pattern, and I've been making it for a long time, um, so I never really felt the need to go uh, for another pattern, um, but I made the short sleeve version because I was um, also running this as a class um, at Satisfaction. Um, taking a class, sorry, at Satisfaction, so I thought I'd better make one. Um, so I made it from this really lovely pink Charlotte jersey. Obviously, I have used this jersey before to make two toasters. I had it in a navy and also in a black. I think the black was from um, Fabric Godmother and, and the blue was from uh, Satisfaction. This pink was from Satisfaction and I think she still has it in stock. I'm not sure. Um, I know So Me Sunshine also had it in stock. Um, but as you can see, the short sleeve version is also a cropped version. It has a, a shaped hem, so it dips slightly at the back. That's not my sewing, it is how the pattern is shaped. And I'm obviously wearing it with skinny jeans and a longer top underneath. Um, and it is really wide. So I think you need something potentially figure hugging underneath, otherwise it might have the um, ability to make you look bigger than you actually are. 
Um, but I do like it. My husband says I look like I'm channeling my inner Beverly Goldberg when I'm wearing it um, because it's a bit 80s. I think it's because it's quite a boxy shape and because it's 80s pink. Um, but I really like it and I think when the weather warms up and the sun's out I'm going to wear it quite a lot. The only thing, um, if I was to make the sweater, um, there's a lot of fabric around here. Um, so I think I would probably have to adjust because obviously the pattern pieces are the same um, whether you make the, it's only the hemline that's different and the sleeve length that's different. Um, so I would adjust here because if I was making it as just a normal sweater, there's quite a lot of fabric here um, that I wouldn't necessarily want. And the sleeves are obviously quite wide for my arms. My neckband turned out really well. Didn't have a problem with that. But yes, I really like it. And I think I'm gonna wear it loads as soon as the sun comes out um, to make me feel all bright and summery. So that's it, I was quite busy. Um, the other things I did make, I made some samples for some of my kids sewing classes, which I held in the Easter holidays. Um, I made a wash bag, I put a picture in, um, but unfortunately that was for older sewers um, and the advertising went out a little bit late unfortunately, so I didn't have any bookings for that. Um, but I've made that sample for another time, so that's fine. And I also did a hand sewing class where my uh, children made monsters. Um, I was going to do owls as well. Um, and uh, yes, it went really well. The kids really liked it and they finished their uh, soft toys, so it went really well. Um, so yeah, I've got loads of plans for this month. I've already made a big start. Um, I am taking part in the Sew Over It Selfless Sewing this month. I've got a few things to make for other people, um, but I can't go a month without sewing for myself. I'm really sorry. But yes, I want to, uh, yeah, make things for myself. So I'm gonna continue to do that. Um, but yes, so hopefully I'll be back with some plans. Um, I've got lots of fabrics. I'm hoping to uh, use quite a lot of fabrics from my stash this month because I'm trying to be more thoughtful about my purchases because I have been buying a lot of fabric of late. Whilst I sew really quickly, I still have a stash that's piling up, which at times can be overwhelming. So I'm gonna make all the beautiful things that I plan to make with all that lovely fabric um, and gradually try and get down my uh, stash a little bit more. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.